I'm a senior and I've been swimming for four years. Okay. I am Benjamin Beecham and this will be my third year in swimming. I'm Price Brownlee, I'm a junior and I think this makes eight years. My name's Haley Walker, I am a junior here at Chisholm Trail and I've been swimming for three years. Very good. I swim the 500 and the 100 breaststroke. I also take part in the 200 medley and um, I qualified for regionals last year. Um, for that 200 medley. I've never qualified individually, but I have a feeling I will this year for my 500 and my 100 breaststroke and the, the relay as well. So that's exciting. That is exciting. What about you, Angel? I've qualified for TISCA three times. In what events? I think mostly relays and then 100 fly. And the 100 fly. What are you, what's your favorite event? 50. Um, I like the 100 fly. Why? Why? Because it's a sprint? <laughs> I don't know. You see, my friend, when she was in swimming, she did 100 fly, mm -hmm. and so she wanted me to do 100 fly, and so I just kind of do it because she wanted me to, and it's never left me. So. Right. Well, there you go. Made it. Right. What about you? What's your biggest accomplishment um, this year? This year? Okay. She um, died. So she <laughs> I was like, oh, this year. Um, I'd have to say it wouldn't be personally for me my biggest accomplishment yet, but having been a part of this team this year, having gone going words, having gone through the difficult trial of not having coach around for a while and having to deal with all that and just seeing everyone else improve has been probably the best this year. Very good. We've learned a lot of leadership um, skills, and I think that the stuff we've had to go through this year, just we've had some struggles, but we, we keep pushing and we stay positive and we're, we're ready for the future. And I think that's the most important thing. Well, and that's important just outside of swimming, right? Like even as you grow into adults, I mean, that's important to have leadership. Yeah. How do you, how do you think that swimming and the demands of athletics or swimming or whatever, athletic or extracurricular activity that you guys do, how do you think that will prepare you that's for very, the future? It's very important. I think, like I said earlier, you build leadership skills, you learn to discipline yourself and you learn to just keep pushing through no matter what happens and that has to be the most important thing you can learn in life. So I, I feel like I've learned a lot um, from being on this one team, just like life skills, not only physically, being physically active, but mentally becoming a better person. Speaking specifically about this year, it's been a lot about malleability and being able to adapt to changing situations. What about extracurricular activities? What are you guys? What else are you guys in? I can't drive. I can drive. <laughs> extracurricular activities. Uh, Damn topic. Uh, choir for both of us, and oh yeah, I sing. Yeah, you sing, and. Um, we're doing a musical right now. Oh, the Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz, very cool. Yeah, it's Wizard of Oz. We are winky guards. That's amazing. It's the great. Name's funny. <laughs> winky guards. So what about guards. you ladies? Are you guys involved in any extracurricular activities? You want to go? Um, well, <laughs> I actually, um, I don't know if this would be considered, but I also lifeguard and I'm a swim coach at downtown YMCA and I just started, I'm like brand new head coach and I'm just kind of winging it, but it's really cool because I can take what I've learned from swimming, from Chisholm Trail and implement into little six year olds and teaching them swimming and it's been a great experience and I've had a lot of fun with it. Um, other than that, that's pretty, that's, I would say that's my that's good. main thing right now. Swim. What about you, Angel? So much to do. Not, I'm actually not doing a lot of things mm -hmm. because I'm trying to focus and figure out what to do. But sometimes I'll like volunteer because my aunt's a phlebotomist and she does she makes rounds and sometimes she'll take me with her. So okay. That's all I do. So you're Coach Nora. She is new this year. So what do you guys feel like she has brought to Chisholm Trail Swimming? Something I think is important to mention is she's she's a pusher, and we I feel that we've had some disadvantages brought to us a few times. I mean, not to, not to be specific, but I feel like she really pushes us and would like us to um, stand out. And she, you know, whenever a swim, our swim team needs something, she doesn't just let it slide. She's like on it. She's she writes that down. She she wants to get this fixed as soon as possible. And 
think that's really important and it's been a pretty good experience, so. Okay. Uh, my name is Nora McMahon and I am the new swim coach at Chosen Trail High School. Very good. And how long have you been coaching, Nora? Um, I have been coaching for 12 years. And have you always coached swimming? The only sport I've ever coached is swimming. Okay, so what got you into coaching swimming? Like, what's your history? Um, I started swimming when I was five years old. Um, competitively, I could swim before I could walk. So um, swimming's always just been in my DNA. Um, but I really loved the competitiveness of swimming and that you could set goals for yourself that seemed unreachable and then reach them. Mm -hmm. um, so I had really, really good coaches growing up. Um, I was able to qualify for the Junior Olympics and have that experience and I think just seeing how much of an impact my coaches made in my life, I knew I wanted to be a coach before I even graduated high school. Um, and then I, I swam at TCU and those coaches just, it, it changed the way I looked at life, it changed the way um, I thought about motivation and dedication and teamwork and so I knew taking that into coaching um, a high school program was something that I wanted to do because um, I feel like it changed my life in a way and I knew that I could be that influence in other people's lives. Before you can get to state, you have to get through district. Yes. And district is coming up. So what are your expectations for the teams, and uh, uh, girls and boys, and the individuals? Yeah, we're really excited this year, both teams. Um, boys and girls both have three relays, and all three relays for the boys and all three relays for the girls will advance to regionals this year, so that is really exciting um, for them. And we have... 18 out of 24 events that we will advance swimmers to the regional meet, which is fantastic. Um, we only have 25 swimmers on our team this year. So it's also, I would like to point out that I had 120 on my team at McKinney. So it's a huge difference. It's easier when you have a large number of swimmers. So 25 swimmers that can work hard enough to qualify in 18 of 24 events is amazing. Um, the swimmers at Chisholm Trail High School are extremely humble. They don't brag. They don't really know how amazing they are. Um, they they just act like this is normal. It's normal to advance to district. And you know, I remind them, I try to, that there are so many other swimmers that just wish that they could advance to the regional meet. Um, it's a huge deal. And they just, they never brag. They don't brag on themselves. If somebody is bragging on them, they get embarrassed. Um, and I'm hoping to change that because a little bit of bragging is a good thing, you know? Not to be overly conceited, but confident. to admit that you're great and it's okay to be confident and own it. Um, that That is something that we are working on because- What about some of the individuals? Yeah, so we have, um, Ben, who is one of our captains that right now in individual events is ranked two and four. So um, top six finishers in both. Um, I, we're hoping that he'll go one and three. Um, first through third gets a medal and I think it'll be really neat that he'll get a medal around his neck at this meet. Um, Price, another one of our captains, um, he actually is ranked third and third in two individual events um, probably will slip up to second and one. Um, it is, it's really neat to watch that dynamic unfold with who is going to place in what um, individual event. Um, I personally um, am just really excited for the growth that they've taken um, and ownership. I got hurt in the middle of the season and I had to leave and these kids stepped up and were there every single day taking ownership and pride in their team um, and they really worked to get the little kid, the younger kids, the ninth and 10th graders to not feel defeated and um, to keep that positive energy going that we've worked really hard in the beginning of the season to create. So for me individually, that's what I'm most proud of. I think it's amazing that so many people are going to go to the regional meet and people that at the beginning of the year didn't even think they had a chance and their times have dropped so much that now they get to go um, and it's amazing when your hard work pays off but more than that their positive energy and refusal to give up is what I'm most proud of. 
Very good. What are your expectations for the Chisholm Trail Summit program as a whole moving forward? Moving forward, we want to grow. Um, we have swimmers that started with us this year that had never swam before. They were learning how to swim. Um, literally, we were teaching them how to swim, and that's awesome. So we're hoping to grow and add our numbers and hopefully build into where we need a JV team so that we can work with the JV team and teach them how to swim while varsity can move forward um, with our goals. Um, Long-term goals, we are hoping to have somebody qualify for state within the next two years. Um, that's a goal that's attainable. We just need to work hard. Um, and have that consistency, which is something that we have really haven't had this year. So their success is amazing. Um, we've had, you know, issues with our pool and different practice times, and literally one thing after another this year it feels like. And so the fact that they've all improved and gotten better and um, are advancing to the regional meet is amazing in and of itself. That. Yeah, we, we've gone through a lot, and so moving forward, it's going to be nice to kind of relax a little bit and have it be easier um, with the scheduling and be able to just focus on swimming.